So Gina and I are out camping in Kushbaquak National Park and I brought along a couple of meals from the Right On Trek people. Today we're having for breakfast two meals. One is the hearty morning coconut granola. That'll be mine. I'll talk more about it in a second. And the other one will be the cranberry and walnut oatmeal. And this will be Gina's meal uh, this morning. So what we'll do is we'll just talk for a second about the macros and how these are prepared. I won't give you all the ingredients or all the uh, description of everything I'll, because that, all of that will be in the video description under this video. But of course I'll show, demonstrate how this goes together. We have two squirrels running across distracting us. It's kind of fun. Um, I'll, we'll show you how they go together and then of course we'll do a bit of a taste test. All right so the first one this is Gina's meal. Let me put my glasses on. This is the Right On Trek Cranberry and Walnut Oatmeal, and it says it prepares in six minutes. This is a meal that you do cook since it is an oatmeal. There are, in the back as with the other meals, this is the extra, the accessory pack of things that they, they packed with it for us, and I'll show you those in a minute. High level, 410 calories, not bad for a breakfast, and we have 17 grams of fat in this. We have 52 grams of carbohydrate and 13 grams of protein. And uh, when, when it comes time to put it together, I'll let Gina describe how it goes together. Um, a little heavy on the carbohydrates, but then this is not the meal I'm having. This is the one for someone who's not on a low carb meal. I'm having the hearty, mo hearty morning <laughs> coconut granola. And again, 480 calories in this bag, 41 grams of fat, a little higher, and 19 grams of carbohydrates and 11 grams of protein. So the carbohydrates are lower than Gina's. They're a little high for a ketogenic meal. So in truth, this is more of a low carb or keto friendly. It's not a true ketogenic meal, but I'm okay with that. This is not bad. And in terms of my overall intake today, this is only going to be part of what I eat today. All right. So uh, what we'll do is I'll Jenna will demonstrate putting hers together. I'll demonstrate putting mine together and we'll do a taste test. So I'm all set to enjoy a beautiful oatmeal breakfast. It's a little cool here in Kushpaquak this morning, so it's perfect weather for this meal. I need to open the package and dump the entire package into nine ounces of treated water. I have the nine ounces here on the stove. It's nice that I can just rip the package apart that I don't need scissors or anything. Oh, the smell of the cinnamon. <laughs> lovely, lovely. So I'm dumping the entire package and I'm stirring it in. Now it just says put it in hot water. It doesn't say boil it for six minutes. I have to turn the stove back on now and boil it for three minutes. And I see there's a couple of accessory packages that go with it. Absolutely. This says to cook on low for three minutes. So I'm just going to watch this first. Yep. I don't want it to get too hot. Oh, the smell of the cinnamon is lovely. It does smell nice, doesn't it? And my two add-on packets, a pack of banana chips, and an extra pack of milk and cream. Nice. The milk and cream is to be added after the meal is cooked, if I'd like to have some additional milk and cream in it, so I'm going to wait until it's cooked before I decide on that. I'm not a huge fan of bananas, so I'm not going to add the banana chips. Fair enough. All right, so it's just a matter of waiting a few minutes now for that to cook, and then while we're doing that, I'll work on mine, and we'll come back for the taste test. All right, uh, time to prepare mine while Gina's uh, oatmeal is getting thick on the stove there. So very simple instructions for this one. Th this meal only calls for three to five ounces of treated water and stir. So it is a cold breakfast. Although, you know, uh, well, I won't know until after I've tasted it, but I don't see any reason why you couldn't just add hot water if you wanted to make your oatmeal hot. I've certainly done that in the past. So let's open it up and take a look. I've taken off my 
uh, accessory pack, but I'll show it to you in a moment. We'll talk about it. Let's see. Oh yeah, there is one of the little oxygen absorbers, so make sure you remove that, of course. All right, so there is what my meal looks like in the bag. You can see the milk powder all around the ingredients. Three to five ounces of cold water. You said that's a four ounce, this is a quarter cup? Yep, so I think I'll, I'll start, I will measure. I was just going to eyeball it, but I think I'll see what five or four ounces does. Let's see what four ounces does to this. Not having had this before. Hmm, okay. What I'm seeing, let's see if I can bring that in a little tighter on the food itself. There is a milk, actually a coconut milk is what they use, uh, powder in this to give it its liquid. It's certainly watery enough. It's not too thick or anything, but I guess what I'm seeing here is that uh, it's a bit too watery well, you for me. An extra ounce of water. No, I get, only put four in, so three four to meters. three to five, uh -oh. three to five ounces. So it was, I cut the difference. So I am going to add the milk and cream. So they gave me three little accessories with mine: the milk and cream, which I will be using, banana chips, which um, although I like them, they're way too carbohydrate for my diet. And this would be really nice for someone who likes honey, some nice raw unfiltered honey that they gave as well. But uh, that's not gonna work for me either. We'll keep those for someone else or another meal. Open up my powdered milk. It says powdered milk and cream. So there's a number of ingredients. It's not just a milk powder, certainly not a uh, dairy milk product. All right, so this is really starting to absorb up all the powder. So without having tasted this, I'm starting to form an opinion already, and that opinion is, I think this would have been better hot, because I'm seeing... Granola, right? So it's not the same as an oatmeal. No, it's not the same as an oatmeal, but what I'm seeing is there are berries in here that appear to be freeze-dried, and they are not uh, going to have a chance to rehydrate. But that's all right. This is what this is all about. It'll be a good test and experiment, and we'll see how they turn out. I guess that's one of the benefits little flies in my meal. That's one of the benefits of these meals is that how quickly they do go together. Mine was instant. Uh, we'll see in a minute how well it tastes, of course. Gina's took only a couple of minutes of hot water, so they looked pretty good. There's what our meals look like. All right, taste test. Yeah. It smells incredible. Okay. Mine's delicious. So I questioned whether or not I should put the milk powder in mine. I think I'm glad I did. I probably should have taste tested it before I put the milk powder in. I don't know how yours... Um, I did the same thing. I looked at it in pot mm. and I decided to add the packet of milk and cream. Right, right. Um, it definitely gave me a thicker texture mm -hmm. than it, and at least it looks and tastes fine. Mm -hmm. I was a little concerned. Let me try one of those blueberries. I was a little concerned the blueberries no. No, it's like dried fruit. Mm. I have dried cranberries in mine, right. and they're delicious. Right. Okay. So I probably did not have to add the extra milk powder to this. Makes it much creamier, much thicker. That's nice. But I was worried it wasn't going to taste good at all beforehand. Um, but I did add the cream powder to it. No, I, th I actually quite like it. This mm. is nice. My walnuts are quite crunchy. Crun yeah, yeah, the nuts in mine are very crunchy. Yeah, I have walnuts in mine as well. Yeah. Well, what we're going to do is um, enjoy our meal before our coffee gets cold, mm. and uh, then I'll do a quick wrap up in a moment. All right, let's wrap this video up with a couple of comments on each of the meals. Let's start with Gina. Gina had the cranberry and walnut oat meal. Overall impression was that it was really very tasty. The flavors were quite prominent. The texture was very nice. Questionable whether or not the added milk cream mixture should have been added to it. It, be, it added a lot of texture to it, but I don't know that it necessary that it was necessary to add to it. And that was Gina's comments. One comment on preparation was the instruction said to add to uh, three to five, not three to five ounces. What was hers? Add to nine ounces of 
clean water, bring to a boil, simmer three to five minutes. In truth, what Gina did was brought her water to a boil so that it was already simmering when she added her ingredients, so it cooked up in like a minute. I expect that this would be a pretty much an instant thing, like instant oatmeal at home, in that you could probably just prepare it right in your bowl with some boiling water. You probably could prepare it right in the package as well by putting the water in there. Keep in mind though, these are not your typical freeze-dried packaging. They are uh, biodegradable packaging. They don't have a Ziploc, so they, they don't, won't work the same way a lot of freeze-dried meals go. But I suspect uh, bring your water to a boil, put it in the bowl, and mix it all up. And and now, it's a little cool out here this morning, so it wouldn't take long for your food to cool down, but that's just a way of looking at it. Uh, other than that, uh, whether or not the cream should be added, Okay, personal choice. I think what would have been more uh, proper to do is taste it, and then see whether or not the cream should be added. Now, just a quick comment on both of these meals, I guess, is that do you need to buy something like this or could you do this yourself at home? I think you probably could do this at home. That's not who this is for. This is not for the person who prepares their own meals at home. Uh, this is for the person who wants to have it done, all prepackaged, ready to go. They order it, they pick it up, they, or it's mailed to them, and it's ready to go. Uh, and we'd have to do an apples to apples comparison as well. It, this is not your Quaker oatmeal or, or Quaker porridge. This has all healthy ingredients. Remember, no sugars or no added sugars. There was the honey that could have been added to mine. So the ingredients, if you can find all of those ingredients at your local health food store, you likely could put this together. So what you're paying for here, of course, is convenience and flavor. I mean, they've done the work. They've measured out everything and they've got it down pat and they give you the options to do, do the work when you're, when you're ready to go. So yeah, I just want to mention that because I'm sure somebody's going to say, well, I could just go to the store and buy some instant oatmeal and, and make my own. Yes, you could. It would not be quite the same. It would be fine, but it would just keep in mind that the ingredient list would be different. All right, very quickly on mine being the Hearty Morning Coconut Granola. Um, I'll say right up front, I should not have added the extra cream until I tasted it. Because I was adding it to cold water, I don't think it fully hydrated or fully mixed or dissolved the way it would have been had I added it to hot water. If I was to do this again, for sure, I would be doing this. I think I'd actually prepare this with hot water because there's no reason why you couldn't do that with a granola. It just softens everything up a little bit more. Would I then have added the cream? Once again, do the taste test, then decide whether or not you want to add the cream to it afterwards. Other than that, the flavor was spot on. The texture was actually better than I thought it was going to be. I know I looked at the blueberries and thought those are going to be crunchy or hard or chewy or something like that. Not in the least. They were not blueberries. Yeah, blueberries in here. Um, anyway, whatever the berries were, they were great. The texture was great. The flavor was great. I can say I'm not a fan of coconut milk. I prefer dairy products, but for those who don't want dairy, then this is obviously a good option. The coconut was not overpowering. It's just that uh, uh, in terms of coconut milk, again, I'm personally not a fan of it. I didn't dislike it. It just wasn't my favorite flavor, if that's the best way to say it. Okay, so those were the two breakfasts that, that Right on Trek sent to us, and uh, I'd invite you if you have any questions or comments about these, or about preparations, or about anything at all, then be sure to put them in the comments section below. And as I mentioned, I'll be putting not only links to where you can purchase these if you are interested at looking at more, but I'll also put more in nutritional information in the video description if you just want to glance at that. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Get out and explore and take that path less travel, because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.